Welcome back to Crist Mining and can you believe it? It's already June. If you saw my recent videos, you know that I'm in full preparation mode for summer. So we did different videos about temperatures, cleaning and maintenance and we will also continue along those lines with the coming videos. But it's the beginning of the month, so it's time for a farm update. June's update is all about scaling. I'm scaling down in one department while still upscaling in another and we'll talk a bit about that. As always, we begin in the Baikal corner with my giant pluses. They are still running on X13 and Deep Onion. All four of them manage around 6400 megahashes per second. But here is where we start to talk about scaling. In terms of the Baikals, I'm scaling down at the moment. If you remember my small little Baikal quadruple, it has already left the farm. So let's say goodbye to my last little miner of some crazy old times. So also the last time this will be featured. I got rid of him because the giants do basically the same, just stronger. But I'm also looking to sell say one to three of the four at the moment. It's time to diversify further here and four machines of the same kind is too much for me now. What I also like in this corner is that we see both ways of powering your rigs. We have an HP server PSU with a breakout board on the left, as well as an ATX power supply on the right. Both have a platinum rating in terms of efficiency, which is very important to me. Turning to the open air AMD rig, you already saw my plans for it in my recent spring cleaning video. So here we are at the point where I'm still scaling up. Cards move around a lot with me, so I ended up having two more spaces on the rig, which are ready to be filled up again. Here you are seeing the beautiful Aorus RX580, which is waiting together with an XFX RX470. They too will get some maintenance and caring before they get inside the rig. In the meantime, they are mining Monero together with the CPU. In the spring cleaning video, we moved the crazy card with the custom cooler to the far left, and I also want to show you the results of this change. So the monster card is still around 50 degrees Celsius, which is amazing. And you can even feel it on the other cards, because the deltas just pull so much air from the rig. And another possibility for this rig would be to build it out even beyond 6 cards, because the Gigabyte motherboard has an additional M.2 slot, but let's see in the future. While we are at GPUs, we turn to the other rig, which is outside the room, the Octominer. It's full of NVIDIA cards, mixed from a 1050 Ti, 4 1066 GB, a 1070 Ti to two 1080s. I just missed the opportunity to make a beautiful screenshot for you, because it has been stable for 22 days, and right after that of course it had a reboot, but I can only state that I'm really happy with stability. This is also the reason why the AMD cards get maintenance and care first, because everything in the Octominer is only around and below 60 degrees, so everything cool, everything stable. Lastly, we talk about the script miners, small and big. So in that department we have two Futurebit Moonlanders. I just did a video about and then of course the good old L3+. Plus. I still argue for the Moonlanders as perfect learning devices, but both script machines, no matter if Ant Miner or USB Miner, lost a lot of profitability recently. Script mining is continuing to grow and at least in my opinion I'm pretty sure we'll see a new script miner very soon. Sad thing for the L3 Plus of course, which is also the loudest machine here if anyone's interested, but it has paid for itself so it's not on my scaling down list for now. Remember when last month in the mining farm video I told you that I already got rid of the splitter cables on the Baikals and was waiting to do the same on the L3 Plus. The breakout board for it came, but take a look at it. I'm not plugging the L3 Plus in something destroyed, so I'm waiting for a replacement, yay. So that's already it for this month's little farm update. Some moving around and scaling up and down. As you saw, we are in summer preparation mode and this is also why things move slower. It's not always about buying or building big machines, but also keeping the ones alive you have and scaling in order that fit your needs. So we'll continue taking care of the rigs and GPUs in upcoming videos. All the best to you and happy mining. Bye!